assess our value. We don't have to invent anything new. We got into the mess we're in because we have not pulled the rule of law. We have not followed the Constitution. So therefore, we have our guidelines. The country was made great by a great Constitution and free markets, and we had great prosperity. But for 100 years now, we have lost confidence in ourselves, lost confidence in, in individual liberty and self-reliance, and we figured, well, if we need anything, the government will take care of us. And uh, we have this obligation to police the world. But we have a tremendous opportunity right now to change things to the point where we emphasize the importance of liberty rather than emphasizing, well, the government can take care of us. The government does this or that. But the government doesn't have anything. The only thing the government has is what they have to take from somebody else. So if you want to justify an expenditure, you can't just say, well, the government will take care of it. The government should pay this. The government can take care of it. We have to really think seriously as a country about this whole notion of entitlements. Entitlements aren't rights, and yet we have several generations now who believe that entitlements means they have a right to what somebody else might be producing and the government's responsibility just to redistribute the wealth. So these are very serious matters. This, this bankruptcy, it has to, it has to be resolved, and the debt, unfortunately, will have to be eliminated and, and uh, liquidated. What they're working on right now is liquidating all debt by just putting the money and giving you money back. They're giving whoever they owe money to money that has one half or one third the value, and that's how they get rid of the deficit. So we live uh, in a time that I believe is quite precarious, and uh, conditions are moving rapidly. I think the next stage, not only did we have the uh, housing bubble burst, the serious problem for the last four years, now we're moving into the stage of an inflationary climate, and the taxes will be paid through higher prices, which we've already started. So I am optimistic in many ways that the country has noticed this. There's more independence now, and probably people around the country, they have lost confidence in this politics status quo, and, and, and it's time that we do something different. And uh, the opportunity is there. The people are responding.